Hey guys, and welcome to a new series. Uh, it's one of my favorite games that came out last year. Um, <clears throat> came out pretty early in the year, actually. Uh, but, uh, come on. Come on. Stardew Valley. Uh, one of my favorite games, like I said. I uh, love the music, and it's, it's kind of a Harvest Moon-esque type game. Uh, you, like, plant, manage a farm, you know do crops and build relationships with people and stuff. Um, not actually going to load my game up, but uh can uh, see my save game here. Come on. Three years. That's sort of the end of the game is year three, but you can keep playing afterwards. Um, all that money, 75 hours, almost 76, so... It's going to be a long series. Um, I don't know how long I'll keep it going. It just depends on how much I enjoy playing it. Um, I played it. There's two different ways you can go through the game. And one is through, like, the community center. Um, where you, like, have to go through and collect stuff. And, like, you make different bundles and it unlocks more stuff for you. But since I already played it that way the first time, I'm going to play it a different way this time. Oh, that's cool. That's new since I've played my game. I kind of want to play on that one. Oh, fuck it. We'll just go with the standard farm. That's kind of cool, though. These, I've never seen these. Uh. Uh, what should we name our farm? Sure. Favorite thing is in what? Beer. And I want a kitty. I'm gonna make it more yellow if I can. Is this a scarf? We'll go with that. That looks pretty good. Okay.
And for my very special grandson. Oh, this is my old man voice. I want to have this sealed envelope. No, no, don't open it yet. Have patience. Now listen close. There will come a day when you feel crushed by the burden of modern life. And your bright spirit will fade before a growing emptiness. I'm depressing as fuck. When that happens, my boy, you'll be ready for this gift. Now let Grandpa rest. XX years later. Joja, join us. Thrive! That guy got fired. Why is Woody from Toy Story here. There's me, I'm sleeping at my desk. That guy is totally dead. Um, somebody should probably come and clean that up. Dear Ransom, if you're reading this, you must be in dire need of a change. The same thing happened to me long ago. I'd lost sight of what mattered most in life, real connections with other people and nature. So I dropped everything and moved to the place I truly belong. I've enclosed the deed to that place. My pride and joy, Dewdrop Farm. It's located in Stardew Valley on the southern coast. It's the perfect place to start your new life. This was my most precious gift of all, and now it's yours. I know you'll honor the family name, my boy. My boy. Good luck. Love, Grandpa. P.S. If Lewis is still alive, say hi to the old guy for me, will ya? I'm on a bus. I'm on a bus. I'm on a bus. I'm on a bus. This is a really slow bus. Hello, you must be Ransom. I'm Robin, the local carpenter. Mayor Lewis sent me here to fetch you and show you way to your new home. He's there right now, tidying things up for your arrival. Hi, Robin. The farm's right over here, if you'll follow me. This is Drew Drop Farm. I really wish I could talk. Dewdrop Farm. Why am I freaking out? It's the basic harvest moon start. You gotta clear all this shit out so you can actually do stuff. What's the matter? Sure, it's a bit overgrown, but there's some good soil underneath that mess. With a little dedication, you'll have it cleaned up in no time. I can skip all this, but it's kind of... kind of need the context. And here we are, your new home. What's up, Mayor Lewis? Ah, the new farmer. Welcome. I'm Lewis, Mayor of Pelican Town. You know, everyone's been asking about you. It's not every day that someone new moves in. It's quite a big deal. So... You're moving into your grandfather's old cottage, huh? It's a good house. Very... rustic.
Rustic? That's one way to put it. Crusty might be a little more apt, though. Rude! Hashtag rude. Don't listen to her, Ransom. She's just trying to make you dissatisfied so that you buy one of her house upgrades. Yep. And I need them. <laughs> anyway, you must be tired from your long journey. You should get some rest. Tomorrow you ought to explore the town a bit and introduce yourself. The townspeople would appreciate that. Oh, I almost forgot. If you have anything to sell, just place it in this box here. I'll come by during the night to collect it. Because you're a creeper. He is such a creeper. You guys will see later what I mean. Well, good luck. Creeper. Cockadoodle doo, motherfucker. Alright, so that was our introduction. Oh, they added that in too. That's cool. What's in here? Some parsnip seeds. Received 15 parsnip seeds. Here's a little something to get you started. Mayor Lewis. He just creeped into our house while we were sleeping and dropped off some seeds. No big deal. Cultivate and harvest a parsnip. Introductions. Two out of 28 people greeted. Something you need to do every day. Um... Check the TV because you'll get recipes and stuff for cooking later. Alright guys, so now we can start uh, clearing stuff out here. I don't know, I might fast forward this for you guys because it's kind of... It's going to take a couple days here to just... Um, clear out all this grass and rocks and stumps and stuff uh, but I really like my goal for this is gonna be two to three days per episode because if you're doing it like even if you do everything you possibly can do in a single day um, you're gonna get you know 10 to 15 minutes per day so I'm trying to keep it between trying to keep it around half an hour per episode of this um, unless some like significant events are going on or something like that so I'm just gonna start clearing some of this stuff out here and uh, I'm just gonna do it like by section so I can get some stuff started while I am clearing out the rest of the place Um, there's some crafting in here, like, uh, make chests and a campfire and fences and stuff. As you go to your skills here, as you level up, that's how you unlock, you get perks at these, uh, these big bars here, but as you unlock more, you, that's how you get more crafting recipes and stuff. Um, there's also the map, and this is all the people in the town that, and you can give gifts to them and get your levels, uh, heart levels up with them and stuff. And so, uh, yeah, that's basically how the game works. Standard Harvest Moon mechanics, but some, uh, there's some RPG elements in here, so, um, I, I absolutely adore this game, and I think it's fantastic, so. Uh, thanks for dropping my stone right into the freaking lake there. gonna take all of my energy to chop down this tree can I chop these yet nope I didn't think so Do ba do do. Like I said, I might just, I might fast forward this for the next couple days. For the first day here, though, I'm trying to just uh, kind of keep it in, so you guys can suffer with me for a little bit, I guess.
the directional system in this game is kind of wonky. Um, like it, it doesn't swing where you click the mouse. It swings the direction you're facing when you click the mouse. So like, I don't know. It's just kind of weird to me. Cause like I feel like I should be able to click up here and you should automatically turn and swing the tool that direction, but it doesn't work like that. So uh, we're running out of energy here. Can't break these logs yet with the tool that I have either. So and I'm gonna rearrange my inventory. I don't like the way they have it set up right now. Alright, I'm starting to feel exhausted. Uh, I want this and this and this. The hoe can go down. Oh, I don't have a backpack upgrade yet. Oh, I forgot all about that. Uh, okay, I need to make a chest real quick. Um, coal. Um, okay. Yeah, I guess I'll trash the coal. It's not like I'm not going to get a whole bunch more. Um. <sighs> seeds, seeds. You can go in there. You can all, you can all just go in there. Uh, I'm gonna go to the town real quick and um, I'm gonna dig through people's garbage to see if I can find some food. Oh. There's some cookies. Gave me quite a bit of energy back. Just talk to everybody while I can. Um, if I run across them or whatever, because um, I need to go down here real quick, actually. Good tip for people who are just starting out, um, save your wood because, ooh, got a book for the library. Save your wood because you can fix this bridge and you can get over here and get more stuff for money. So I need 300 pieces of wood to fix that bridge. I didn't know how much I needed before, so that's good. 300 is not a lot. Okay, so he's not there. His name is Gus. I don't remember. I'll just keep looking around the town for a little bit. Uh, this episode can be kind of long. It had the introduction in it, so that was a good long time. We can go ahead and go into the library since we just got something for it. Nothing in there either. There's like help, you know, helpful books here. It's nothing really important. Hello, Gunther. Dig up all those little worms you saw me dig up on the ground because you can get pretty good items from it, so. Uh, $2,000 in copper bars for upgrades right now.
Okay. Just picking up a bunch of stuff that I can sell right now. So, Jojo Mart is here. Um, this is one of the routes you can take. Um, the other being Pierre's General Store and the um, the other place, like I said, the, the town place. So, um, I, I don't know how much the membership here costs. Yeah, 5,000 gold there to just start on that part. So, um, yeah, I'm not going to mess with that. This is Abigail, and she's the one I married in my other game um, but I don't since the Jojo Mart makes Pierre's general store close I don't know how um, the whole marriage thing with her works if you go the other route like I had said how much does this cost 2000 gold for a backpack upgrade so I need to get 2000 gold for a backpack upgrade and 2000 gold for tool upgrades so I need to start making some money um, but that'll come after I clear out some room on my farm so I can start planning some stuff and then we can start working on other things so um, I'm gonna chop all this get some fiber boop, boop, boop. that's the town center where you go in and do, do, do uh, one of the other routes in the game uh, it's you collect stuff like throughout each season for bundles and you fix it up in there and it like unlocks stuff but I'm gonna do it the other way um, where you just basically have to make a lot of money so it's a lot harder like when you're first starting out you just try and make money to unlock all the upgrades and stuff so I'm try that out too uh, I can't go up forgot I can't even go up there until I unlock that so not only do I need the 5,000 gold for that, um, to, to even start that route, I need the money to unblock that too, so it's going to be pretty pretty damn difficult starting out on this kind of, uh, on this kind of, um, playthrough. I can't even, can't even get through here right now. I don't know how I'm going to do it. I don't know if I'm going to fast forward or if I'm just going to, um, oh shit. I need those seeds. I don't know if I'm going to fast forward or if I'm just going to do it off cam, like do a couple days off camera, um, so that you guys don't have to sit here and watch me chop all this crap down and stuff like that just starting out is just really hard guys um, you can't get rid of like these big stumps or these logs um, you can only get rid of the tiny stuff like this and your energy is really low because you haven't found any of the upgrade things yet and shit like that so I think we're about to the point of being done with all we can do today I'm gonna eat some of these uh, leeks and horseradishes to maybe get a couple more uh, swings in here.
The mixed seeds are really good because it can be any type of seed for the specific season that you're on right now. And uh, so instead of going and paying a bunch of money for like the parsnip seeds that the mayor gave us, you can just um, use those for a while just to get some starting cash. Actually, I think I left some mixed seeds up here on the ground. Um, I did. So yeah, they're pretty good to, at the start to make some money. Um, they're not super reliable later in the game, so don't plan on like, oh, I, I don't have to buy seeds and I can just use those. But you, I mean, you could, but you really shouldn't. And I cannot see a damn thing right now. Try and break up some of these rocks and wood that I can actually see what's going on. And then come back out here tomorrow. The trees are your big problem at the start um, because you can't plant or anything around them so you gotta knock a lot of these trees down you don't want to cut all of them down because you need them for stuff later in the game but you want to cut a lot of these down because they give you sap for fertilizer too so oh that's the log that I can't get rid of. okay I'm just gonna go to bed now and I think I'm gonna cut the episode here that was pretty good first day and the um, the intro was kind of long, but, uh, you know, I wouldn't want to skip that. You got to know what's going on and how we got here and all that. So I'm going to go ahead and cut this here, and I will see you guys in the next episode.